Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Subnautica. We are currently sat inside the Frith Marine with the hatching enzymes. This is it. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. We are hopefully going to be able to get off of this planet once and for all. One thing that I wanted to do first though, before we go anywhere, I want to remove my reinforced gloves and I want to have a look at my hand. Um, quite frankly, it doesn't look good. I'm, I'm starting to think that it, it is not looking good at all. Uh, where's my hand? Okay, let's do this. Look, look, look at the look at the yellowness. Look, look at it. Self scan. There. Uh, look at look at the yellow. Infected. Yeah. We we we've we've got. Oh, now you can see it. What happens if I take the fins off? Take that one off. And the fins off as well. Now look down. Oh. Okay. Apparently we keep we. We keep a suit on anyway, so that, that one doesn't make any difference. Um, we'll put the gloves back on so that we cover up the, the hideousness and we will be on our way. Let us go. Let us disembark the Cyclops. And now we need to find the right direction to go. We want to go... Where's, where's, where's the entrance? There's us. Uh, there's Betty, no mates. That's where we want to go. We want to head over this way. Right. I got light on at the moment. I'm thinking we turn the light off while we travel. So when I come down here... Just so that I can sort of see where the light is. And then, like that. Right, we got everything off now. Light's off. And I need to just kind of hug this wall. we got to watch out for warpers. Warpers are nothing to do with this planet. Warpers are there because of the aliens. The aliens put the warpers there. Um, it's kind of an enforcement thing. And they're, they're nothing to do with it. But, we've got... Sea Dragon over there, who's a rather unfriendly character. He keeps trying to spit balls of fire at us, which is not the nicest thing to do. Hopefully we can avoid him this time. And then we've got the Sea Emperor stuck inside there, the last of her kind. They didn't have very big groups of them anyway. They just live all over the planet. But um, then the enzyme, the, the, um, the bacteria, escaped. The, the, is it Kala? I, I don't remember what the disease is called, but it escaped. And it spread across the planet, and it's destroyed most life. Almost all life has been destroyed. There we go. We made it. We actually made it. Let's put that one away. And, uh, right, well, there's nothing in there that we want. Okay, let us continue on. This, the, the bacteria, it, it, it destroyed almost all life on the planet, and then we turned up. We became marooned here. Many people died during this process. Two ships full of people. We are the only survivor. And we have that one Sea Empress. She was able to communicate with us. And she was not able to communicate with the last people. They could not hear her. They could not understand. And she said as much. And in we go. There we go. Right. Now, we want to go back down here. And she has eggs in her. In her body. She has an enzyme. Enzyme 42, I think it is. Um, whichever enzyme it is. That enzyme stops her from being infected with the disease and has also kept her alive for thousands of years so that she may continue um you know, her line may continue we've got five eggs here five young eggs and she has she's been alive way past what her normal life would be in order to keep these eggs alive right uh, let's let's put these in she goes now what what's happening there is the enzyme that's what they needed. Look at them. They're all hatching. Oh, scan. Scan. Always scan. Always scan. Uh, come here. Come. Come, come closer. Let me scan you. Here we go. Scan, scan. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. I need to scan. I'm sorry. I must know. I must know every detail about you. We won't scan anymore for a minute. There we go. I'm going to just sort of swim down here a minute. And I'm going to I'm going to just wait. Is she going to say anything to us? I've hatched your eggs out for you. Surely this is a good thing. I'm going to go and just sit. I'm going to copper squat on this brain coral over here. Oh look! Look! She's got her children with her. Oh it's so beautiful. Mike, I'm not actually getting on top of these. There we go, that's better. She has her children. They have hatched. We have helped her. 
We did what she has waited for for so long. My young are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. Their freedom is my end. What will it be like, I wonder, to go to sleep and never wake up? Perhaps next we meet, I will be an ocean current, carrying seas to a new land. Or a creature so small, it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell, friend. Farewell? Why farewell? No! No, you're supposed to go free as well. It's supposed to be like a bigger gate. So you can escape. You're not supposed to die. This was not supposed to happen. I do not like this. I do not like this development. Let me self-scan a minute. What's happened? Still infected. Oh, that's great. Um, I kind of need one final favor from you. Just, just, just one. If, if, if you don't mind, um, there's nothing there, um, there's nothing there, let me go over to her, maybe she has the final thing that we want, no, we can't scan her, so how do I get the, they're swimming to the shallows, maybe we need to go to the shallows as well, and she is, dying I do wonder there, there's going to be another um there's an expansion there is going to be an expansion to this game and I do wonder if maybe this expansion oh do I want the prawn suit I think I might I think I will take the prawn suit with me out this way uh oh no no I won't it's um we're, we're pretty close to the other place I think we'll be all right so we want to go through here let's see what happens can hear them. There they are. I can hear them already. What is this? <gasps> enzyme! It's the enzyme! Look! <laughs> oh, cool! Oh, that is amazing! We're healed! Achievement, optimal health. They're just leaving little bits of enzyme all the way around. Basically, what you're telling me is I've just stuck my hand in um, Sea Emperor Poop. That's, that's, that's basically what happened. Sea Emperor Poop is apparently the answer. There's loads of it here already. So do they just like swim around here just playing happily? Maybe they do. And this would be the next bit is we can go straight in there and we can shut it down because we, we shouldn't have the, um, the thing on us anymore. Let's go here. Self scan. Self scan. Self scan complete. Vital signs normal. No remaining sign of bacterial infection. It worked. It actually worked. So, yes, I wonder if the expansion does actually have the Sea Empress in it again, in some form or another, or maybe it's like the continuation of this story and something else. I'm not really, I don't really know at the moment, um, I've, I've, well I've got absolutely no clue. I do know that it's set in an arctic region, we know that much, and we are the protagonist at the moment, we are this dude with the, the, the infected skin, um, just, ooh, ooh, nope, I want to go here, I want to I do this bit a minute, so let's just have a look at our hands a minute, there we go, look, nice clean hands, hands with nothing on them, look, see how beautiful they are. They are not, they are not infected. Uninfected hands, look. Uh, cell scan, that one. Normal. It's beautiful, it's normal, we got normal hands. Right, so yeah, um, we've got, it, we've been this dude, but apparently in the next one you play as a woman. It's not the same person, we play as a woman and I, other than that I don't know anything. A woman in the Arctic region, but I do wonder if the Sea Empress sort of like reincarnates is something to do with the next stage of the story i'm that's i'm i'm quite certain that it's got to be something to do with that 
Now we come in here, that takes us to the power plant. So we don't want to go that way. Uh, which way do we want to go? We want to go... We want to go upstairs actually, don't we? We, we want to go up here. Now there was a thing on here where they were going to try to destroy the planet, but it didn't actually work. So for that small mercy, we're kind of grateful. Although, you know, if they destroyed the planet all those um, millennia ago with that right there, that, that bomb thing... What is it doing? It's moving. It wasn't doing that before. I'm pretty sure that thing wasn't alive. I'm pretty sure it was like dead before. But anyway, um, that one in the past, it, didn't, uh, it seemed like it was big enough to, it was, like more, it was powerful enough to like detonate the entire solar system and it didn't go off. So we are, well, I was going to say we are grateful for that, but if it had gone off, we'd never have been stranded on the planet in the first place. But then we'd have never met the Sea Empress, and I'm kind of glad that we did. I've, I feel it's like a, a good thing that we met her. Now, if we interact with it this time, still going to bring a needle out and stab us, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. As it comes, and kipow! Ow! Yeah, see? There was no need for that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? That was brilliant. I punched it. What is that noise? Okay, I have no idea what the noise is. There was a lot of noise just then. The noise makes me wary. So force field control there, so there's nothing really that we want to worry about. Why was there noise? And what is this now? What is it doing? Yeah, I don't really know. I'm going to leave that one alone because that was potentially the one that could destroy the solar system. Um, so we'll, 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 um, we'll avoid that one and... We'll come all the way back down here. Is there anything else? There is nothing else that we need to concern ourselves with. So it's basically, we've just shut down the entire facility here, I think. I believe we have. Do I... I'm going to go all the way upstairs first. Where do we want to... Yeah, we want to go through this way. We'll go upstairs and we will have a look up there. And just to see... Is it... Uh, yeah, I think it would actually be quicker to go out this way. You jump into here and this... Throws us upwards. I quite like this lift. This lift is very cool. Whoosh. There we go. So we'll go and take a look up at the top and we will see um, what the next bit is. Well, what's, what's happened to the alien gun? We'll just run outside a minute. I forgot just how big this place was. It takes quite a while to run all the way through. I think we're nearly out the entrance now, though. I'm all the way down here. And it's a bit more. Go on. There we go. Right, so we're at the front. Now, I want to climb up on top here so that we can have a look at the actual alien gun. Can we see it from here? It's just lying down. That's it. Just leaning over and not doing anything else. We're, you know what we can do now, don't you? We are now able to escape. Right, data bank. Indigenous life forms. Fauna. Leviathans. Sea Emperor. Juvenile. A juvenile emperor specimen. It is producing a highly potent form of enzyme 42, which should be capable of fully curing individuals of the alien bacterium. This species hatches relatively fully formed and independent, perhaps reflecting the fact that they must fend for themselves when they are first born away from their parents. This specimen is healthy and exhibiting signs of a positive attitude to life. I like that. I like the fact that it has a positive attitude. But that the, the, the empress, that, that she's gone. We're... That is it. It's over. Where is this warper? There's a warper here. Is it going to try to kill me now that I'm inf not infected? Where is it? It's gone. It's like compl I'm, I'm listening to see if I can hear it. Where is it? There it is. 
Let's go over close to it and see what it does. Oh. Apparently, because I'm no longer infected, it no longer cares. I am no longer a concern. It is not going to bother itself with me anymore. So, our next task is to get back to our base. We could just take a shortcut through here. We could take the... Um, Take the Cyclops, and we could just go. Betty, no mates, could just accompany us, and we, we could just leave. But I don't actually want to do that at all. That is not what I wish to do. What I wish to do is, first of all, where are the juveniles? Are they still here? Are they still in this region, or have they gone swimming away to elsewhere? To pastures new. We've got Enzyme 42 here. Concentrated Enzyme 42. I cannot pick it up, but that is going to cure the whole planet, that is. But where is the rest of the... Where are the juveniles gone now? Now that I've gone in and done that... i have got 120 seconds left. I need. I do need to be a bit careful. Where are they? They were emitting a... They, they seem to have a positive attitude to life, but um, I'm curious where they are. Let's go back into the cave. Into the cage. Let's Let's go back... Maybe, just maybe, the Sea Empress can survive. Maybe we can save her as well, so she can spend time with her children. No. No! No, this was not supposed to happen! She still lives. She still lives! I can save the- tell me what I must do. Tell me what I must do, I will save you. Yes, you've lived thousands of years past your natural span, but I'm sure there's a good reason for that. Can I scan you? Maybe maybe I can give you some of my enzyme. Maybe you maybe you need some more of the proper enzyme. Maybe that's what you need. Um I honestly don't think that we can do anything. I honestly think that this is it. I think that this is the end. We will not be able to do anything for her. We're just going to have to leave her. She lived literally thousands of years stuck in this. This was it. She had the whole, all the oceans out there and she spent thousands of years stuck in this little chamber. And she dedicated her life to saving life on the planet. This is horrible. I don't like the precursors. Well, the precursors of the aliens. I don't like the precursors anymore. I thought that they were pretty good, you know, and I, I felt sorry for them struggling to survive against all odds and it, it, it seemed like such a valiant tale they had this terrible terrible disease that was like ravishing their entire ecosystem and and life and everything and it was it was horrific i don't like them at all anymore look what they did to her look and all they had to do was just speak to her if they've just spoken to her she'd have told them everything that they wanted to know like she did with us but no no, they couldn't do that, could they? Monsters. Absolute monsters who apparently got what they deserved. Now, what I gotta do is I gotta get back to the Frith Marine over there with this one. And this might be a little bit more tricky. This this, this may be quite possibly. Can I can I even zoom up? I don't know if I can. Let's just drop down here a minute. I don't know if I can, like, zoom all the way out of there or not. Um, I'm going to shoot that up there. And then I'm going to go like this. I can't fly. I was flying in here before. I actually flew right up out. Didn't I? But it, it now apparently it's not working. That's why we've got the way gate over there. I did previously manage to get out, but no, we, we do have a way gate over here, so I can just use that one. If I can swing elegantly from the roof like this. Look at me go. I'm like Spider-Man. People said I would be like Spider-Man, and I didn't quite believe them, and I am being like Spider-Man. This is very cool. Okay, we'll come over here, and then we go through this one, like this, and we just walk through this door. And that should take us downstairs. Should. In theory. There we go. Now we come out here. Down we go. Right, I don't know why I'm getting the water sound, but anyway, I am. See, up here, I can sort of fly, but apparently I can't fly out of the water bit. And then up 
it doesn't really work. So I'm not quite sure why that did, that would be. Um, we will just drill out that one over there before we go so that we've got some more of these ion cubes in case we need more for our escape off the planet. That's going to be our next thing as we want to escape the planet. Now, I said to you at the end of the last episode I'm considering playing a different game. I was originally going to play this game longer after we've done, like, fully completed the story and everything. Uh, because, you know, I thought it would be, be pretty cool to, like, build a big base and stuff like that. I'm now actually thinking that I won't do that. Um, because quite a lot of you are saying you'd really like me to play the game Raft. Which is coming out very, very soon. In the next few days, actually. I think it's better. Well, I, I'm not currently sure just how long it is. But it's not going to be very long at all before that game comes out. Um, so I would like to go and play that game. I really would. I think it's going to be absolutely brilliant fun to play. Now, we will just heal this one up completely. When I say heal, I mean repair. We go to the repair tool. And we will repair you fully, just in case we meet anything nasty out there. Like that. Now, enter the prawn. I need to get across here. So, when the expansion comes out, maybe we'll just take things a little bit more slowly, and we will try to uh, do a few extra things with building bases and stuff like that, to sort of satisfy your hunger for all things Subnautica related. But I do believe that even those real fans of Subnautica, the ones that really, really wanted me to keep playing this game, uh, will actually enjoy me playing Raft. It is different. We don't have the technology and the aliens and stuff. It's all based on Earth, but it is still being marooned on, you know, in an ocean. So there is that side to it. Now, that thing is right there, and i got to get across. I need to go that way. Sorry, kind of. Which, which way do I need to go? I need to go that way. So if he would be so kind as to swim over that way, maybe I could do something. Because if I just go out there right now with him there, I suspect we're going to die. Because I can't move very fast with this one. I'm going to go back in here a minute. This, this, is, this is... This is going to be difficult. This is going to be extremely tricky. Why have I, what, what are you doing? You go away. Just go away. Leave me alone. Go away. Go away, nasty thing. Um, I'm wondering if I should go out there and trap him in stasis. Let me just um, put the stasis rifle down there. We may be glad of this. I may have to. Go I may have to do battle with it. Where is it? Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Okay, we're gonna start just pulling ourselves along the floor. And here he comes. I can hear him. I can hear him. I just want to pull myself along like this. There we go. Go over the top like that. There. Uh, oh, I need to go down that way. That's the direction that I need to go. Let me just get back my health. There we go. And then jump over here. Jump. Jump and go. Jump and go. Here he comes. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Go forwards. Go forwards. I'm stuck. Something bad's going to happen to me. Something bad's going to happen to me. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Uh, where have I got to go? Oh, uh, this way. I need to go this way. Right, go over there. The warper should, in theory, leave me alone. He's not going to, though. He's behind me. I can feel him. I can feel his claws digging into my back. Ah! No, he really is. He really is. He really is. It's his claws. He's got claws. I've got the wrong way. I've taken a wrong turn. Um... Where is he? He's there. He has indeed taken a wrong turn, but so have I. Um, he doesn't come out here. There was something that I liked about it, is he doesn't come through this bit. Okay, I might still be able to escape. I may be able to escape. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Am I going the wrong way now? I don't know. Which is the right way? Uh, this is the right way. Now we're going, now we're talking. I need to go this way. There we go, we go through here. Go through here. Just, just, just anything. Just there we go. Seek fluid in. Oh yeah, that's just great. Why not just you know make me even more nervous than I am already? That's that's just just wonderful. That's perfect. Uh oh, there's a there's a there's a hole up there. Go up this way. There's a warper over there, but no, it's it's up there. I can go up there. This isn't actually where I intended to come out at all, but it is a place to come out. 
It is a place that I can come out. I'm about to run out of um, oomph. Let me just hold on to the side here. Hold on to the side here. Look. There's all of these infected creatures around, but eventually all of that enzyme that is currently floating around the planet, it will help all of these creatures. Every single one of them will be saved. And it will all be good and it will all be wonderful. Is there any way that we can like help to spread the enzyme around? I don't actually know about that. Uh, I really don't want him to be looking at me like that. Ah! No! I'm so close to home. I am so close to actually getting through this. I'm literally, I'm not like, it's, it's right there. Home is, let me through, let me through, I'm stuck. Run, 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 run faster. No, oh, I'm so scared. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me go, 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 go. Where is it, where is it? I don't want to look behind me, it's going to take too long. He's over there, he's, he's leaving me alone. No, that, that's, a, that's a smaller thing. That is not a thing I need to worry about. Um, I was set, somebody said that there was like a cave underneath the... You know, I went into the heat plant in here. Someone said that it was actually a thing under there. And that I could go and have a look at it. Right, I've got warpers over here, but I don't think I need to worry about them anymore. I think that they no longer are interested me in the slightest. They absolutely don't care any longer that I exist. I'm just a... I'm an insignificance to them. I'm in, I'm in nothing. I do not need to be worried about them at all. At least that's what I'm hoping. Let's go over this way. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know what that is. Titanium, I think. There is the warper, and he's leaving me alone. He's absolutely leaving me alone. That's good. There is the Frith Marine. The Frith Marine is getting closer. And I think that the big nasty thing is going to leave us alone as well. Let's jump up over here, and then pull ourselves down that way. There we go. Where is it? Where's my home? Where's the Frith Marine? It's down there. So we, if we can get back to the Frith Marine at long last, we can kind of go a, a roundabout way here. Um, up over there. There we go. It's in sight. Now what we've got to do is go back through all those tunnels and get home again. Um, one of the things we've got to do is go through the tunnels, and then we've got to swim back, and we've got to get... Um, Billy no mates bring him in oh no 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 you're kidding me what's it doing in here no it's not even he's not supposed to come in here all systems online it's not supposed to come in here it's never followed me into the crater before it hasn't he's gone it's okay he's gone he's not in the crater <laughs> oh, that was entirely too close for comfort. That was entirely too close for comfort. There we go. We got some water. Let's take those two. And yeah, I don't have to. But we, we, we're on our way home now. It's gonna be okay. Let's let's just drink some water Vital down. Uh, another one. There we go. Right. Uh, do I have any food? I don't have any of the food left. We'll go and have some lantern fruit. Let's have some lantern fruit here a minute. We'll pick we'll pick some of these. Uh, there's there's three of them. One, two, and three. And then I'll pick a couple more. Three more. That'll do it. And one more, just for luck. There we go. And that'll take us up to 109 food values. We've got plenty of food. We're full health. And we're back on board the Frith Marine. So we want to take this one back out of here. Now, this is the difficult... Right, we've got the Cyclops Cave entrance over there. I'm not actually sure which way we're going to want to go. I don't remember which way we came in through here. And it was a little bit of a roundabout route. Once we get out of this massive cave, we'll be all right. It's getting out of the massive cave. That's going to be the difficult bit. Once we get through this bit, then we can sort of power on through. We'll be able to get to our base that we've got inside the Lost River. Take anything we want from that base. And then we're going back up to the surface to the one at the top. Um... However, I am deliberately cutting this episode a little bit short today. We're going to have a slightly shorter episode. And our next episode will be the epic journey back. We will stop off at our base. We will gather what we need. We're going to leave... You know, I'm wondering. No, we will li we'll leave Billy Nomates at the base. We'll have to come back on foot and gather that one. And I think... Is there a quicker way to do it? I don't think there is. I don't think there's any shortcut to go and get that. Even like using the Waygate network. Um... So we'll, we'll, we'll do that. We'll have to just come back on foot, gather 
be uh, Billy no mates, and we'll bring him back through, and then we'll, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have everything back. And then we've got the final job, which is this one down here. This, this is the bit that I'm quite looking forward to, actually. There's one bit down here. There are a number of things that I haven't made, right? But it's the Neptune launch platform. That one right there. Two titanium ingots, a computer chip, and some lead. That's not a great deal, really. There's, there's, there's not much that we need for that. Um, I don't know if there's any other things that we're supposed to find. We haven't made... We haven't played with torpedoes or anything. Uh, we haven't... What else didn't we do? The big alien containment thing where I was going to hatch eggs. There was that to do as well. Alien containment. Maybe I will try to make some alien containment and chuck a load of eggs in there. We'll see what happens with that. Um, there's an aquarium there. Self-sustaining aquatic habitat. I will chuck some eggs into an alien containment. We'll just, we'll just quickly see what happens there. Because there was one egg that you all said you wanted me to have a look at. But yeah, raft. I'm thinking raft. And then, you know, there are things that we can look at when we come back to Subnautica. When the expansion hits. I'm planning to spend a lot more time in this game yet. But, you know, maybe raft would be a good sort of thing to do for a little while in the meantime because a lot of you have been saying that that game does look very very good uh, so I, again i want to hear your thoughts and comments i know i said this in the last episode but i am saying it again this time uh, but anyway until then till next time thank you very much for watching um that was actually wrong i'm supposed to say the other bit first aren't i if you've enjoyed the episode then please hit down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome there we've done that bit now i can go to the bit where i thank you very much for watching um so yeah until next time thank you very much for watching this is frithgar goodbye and see you later